Make it three straight years. Our region is recognized for having some of the best educators anywhere in the state. An Abington Heights High School teacher was recognized today for becoming the 2019 Teacher of the Year. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside the high school this evening in South Abington Township. Cody. Mark, good evening. Marilyn Pryo was one of 12 finalists. She found out that she was the chosen one back in December. Today, she was honored by Congressman Matt Cartwright. Marilyn Pryo takes the reins for Pennsylvania's Teacher of the Year. Surrounded by students and fellow teachers, Congressman Matt Cartwright presented the 10th grade teacher with a congressional record. May she continue to energize and inspire students and teachers alike for many, many years to come. Congratulations. It's completely thrilling. I'm, I'm so honored. The thought of uh, being in the congressional record is just an amazing, it's a lifelong kind of thing. In December, Pryo was chosen by the Pennsylvania Department of Education as the 2019 Teacher of the Year. It's a year-long process. With teachers from more than 500 school districts in the state participating, the decision was narrowed down to 12 finalists until there was just one. When it happened, I was excited and relieved and completely honored, kind of all at once. In the classroom, Ms. Pryo tries to convey a sense of engagement, making sure her students are connecting with the material she teaches. Her world literature students sense that. How creative she is and how much um, effort she puts in, and she like tries to connect with every student. And with the right tutelage, any student can succeed. As Teacher of the Year, Ms. Pryo will travel across Pennsylvania, sharing in her success with other educators. In South Abington Township, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Such a great honor at the home of the Comets. Thanks, Cody. Marilyn Pryo's accomplishment was read, or rather, uh, yes, it was read on the U.S. House floor by Congressman Matt Cartwright. It was then published in the Congressional Record to be part of American history.